The Florida Panthers just pulled off what might just be the biggest upset in NHL history. The Boston Bruins ended the regular season with a record of 65-12-5, setting the NHL record for the most wins and points in a single season. But in the first round of the playoffs, the team that many expected to win the cup blew a 3-1 series lead and lost the series in 7 games. The Florida Panthers barely made the playoffs with 92 points. That is 43 less points than the Boston Bruins, the largest point differential in an upset since the 1982 LA Kings beat the Oilers, where the Kings had 48 less points. But I think this Panthers upset is more impressive, given that in 1982 the first round was best of 5 and not best of 7, and also because, as previously mentioned, the Bruins were the best regular season team in NHL history. The only upset that might be more embarrassing than this one is when the President's Trophy winning Tampa Bay Lightning got swept by the Columbus Blue Jackets in 2019. So how did this upset even happen? One of the biggest reasons for the Bruins collapse in the playoffs, ironically enough, is one of the things that made them almost unstoppable in the regular season, and that is the goaltending. Linus Olmark is winning the Vesna Trophy, hands down, and he's lucky that the Vesna is a regular season award, because in the playoffs, Linus Olmark was not good. He went from a goals against average under 2 and a 938 save percentage to an 896 save percentage and a 333 goals against. Now, how does one of the best goalies in the regular season fall off this badly in the playoffs? Well, to my knowledge, I don't think Linus Olmark played six consecutive games in the regular season like he did in these playoffs, because Jeremy Swayman is also a really great goalie, so they could split the games pretty evenly amongst themselves in the regular season. But come playoff time, he played the first six games of the series, and it's possible that extra workload probably got to him. And you can even see it in his game logs. When the Bruins took a 3-1 series lead, apart from game two, Linus Olmark played really well, and it was at game 5 and 6 where he really, really struggled. So it might have been the smart play to not overwork him, especially since Jeremy Swayman as the backup was better than most teams' number one option. But I don't want to say that this is the only reasons the Bruins lost the series. The Florida Panthers deserve a ton of credit. While their goaltending wasn't spectacular, they still found a way to get it done. Matthew Kachuk showcased that the Panthers are currently winning the Huberto trade, scoring the overtime winner in Game 5, having 2 goals in Game 6, and a total of 11 points in this 7 game series. Brandon Montour is another big reason the Panthers were able to win this series. He had 2 goals in Game 7 and 5 goals in this series to go along with 3 assists and his second goal of Game 7 was scored with under a minute to go to send them into overtime. And then you also had Sam Bennett with 3 goals, Sam Reinhardt with 4 goals, Carter Verhage with the overtime winner in Game 7, and combined with the goaltending for Boston taking a nosedive, and the Florida Panthers were able to pull off what might just be the biggest upset in NHL history. And now they face the Toronto Maple Leafs in the second round. As for who wins that series, who the hell knows? But it's going to be a really fun series to watch.